Well, uh, they told me that it uh, didn't work right on Facebook. Um, I saw Instagram correctly, but I'll do it again just to run through it for you guys. So, the objective is getting you guys out of the poor house and into the rich house. 95% of America is poor because the government and the education system teaches us how to stay in the poor house, okay? So, with the poor house, <clears throat> the reason why people stay in the poor house is because they don't understand how to manage their money, okay? So, you can't make more money until you learn how to manage the money that you have. So, once again, if you can't manage that money, you're never going to get more money. So, let's break down the poor house. The poor house is right here. I call this the end window. Your paycheck, it comes in here, all right? And you're extremely poor people, all right? Which is the broke, the, the low class, all right? They're right here. I call this the poor window, all right? The poor window right here, their paycheck comes in, and then it goes right back out the bills. Credit cards, uh, gas, uh, student loans, all types of things. They have to keep going to work, and the bills, the money goes to the bills. It's a never-ending cycle with them, all right? They're not saving a dollar at all. Then you come over here to your middle class window. I call this the keeping up with the Joneses window. This window, they can go from making 50, 60,000 to 150,000, if not more. But I told you it's keeping up with the Joneses. What do they do when they get that raise? They go get a bigger house. They go get that BMW, that Benz that they've been looking at. They go get them red bottoms, them Chanel's. They, uh, they, they just go around buying things because they have an increase of money. Guess what? They don't know how to manage their money. That's the reason they can't get out the poorhouse. So before they know it, they got their paycheck coming in, and guess what? They doing the same thing the poor people doing. It's a never-ending cycle with them. They just have more expensive bills now. All right? The rich people, they understand, okay? They know how to manage their money, and how to get out of this poor house and stop listening to the education system that they told us that we need to listen to, okay? Now, with this, the rich people realize, I have to manage my money correctly so I can get out of this house. And how do you manage that money correctly? Well, it's right here. You take half of your monthly income, so whatever you make for the month, half of it should go towards paying bills, not anything more. Just half. If you can't pay your bills with half your monthly income, you need to do something to make more money. I don't care what it is. You need more money if half of it can't pay your bills. The other half of your monthly income needs to be divided evenly into five cans. I call it cans. If you uh, bank, use a ledger and break it down into six different columns. Um, your first one is I can tithe. Some people aren't going to do it. I advise you to do it because uh, you want to pay the man upstairs his respect for holding you down. Um, the next one, I can save. This is towards this is towards your, uh, if you want to save for a house, car, vacation, whatever you want to do. Whatever you're saving towards, this is your savings can, all right? Um, the next one, I can educate myself. This is the second most important can on here, right? You have to be able to purchase books. Purchase a coach that's already been there before. They know what to do because they've already done it. Buy a coach. Buy a mentor. Uh, buy some training. Go to seminars. All right. This is what I can educate myself for. Don't think because you graduated college that you're done educating yourself. You have to continually to educate yourself because you have to get more wisdom, right? You can't just rely on the education wisdom that's keeping you working nine to five every day. They told you they want you to become a better worker. And guess what? If you don't keep education, educating yourself on something different, you're always going to become a good worker. I love workers. If you want to be a worker, hey, I'm sold on y'all, you know, because hell, y'all, somebody need to work for my companies. Um, I'm not going to do it, but y'all can, you know. Um, the next one, well, before I get into that one, the last one on here is I can have fun. You got to reward yourself, man. You, If you're doing money management correctly, you're educating yourself, every month this can needs to go to zero. 
all right? Because you need to have fun. You got to enjoy the things that you're doing. You know, have a good time. Celebrate that you uh, went through a month of getting your uh, money management correctly. Celebrate that you've gotten a good savings can or that you tithe. Just celebrate. Have fun at the end of every month. But the can that I love the most, the I can work can, this is what the rich people started to understand. If you want to get out the poor house, all right, your money has to become your employee. Your money's got to work 10 times harder than what you work. And you can't get to that if you don't educate yourself. The way that you get your money to work is with Forex. I'm killing that market too. If y'all want to get the Forex, holler at me. But the, the Forex stocks, real estate, loans, um, starting a company, these are all things that you can do with your money so you are able to stop working, all right? Your money should be making as much money as you do per hour for 24 hours a day. But guess what? If you never learn how to manage your money, you will never have money that can work because your money is always going to keep going out the bills. And you don't know this information because they don't teach you this information. They teach you how to keep creating more bills. School is another bill. It's a hell of a bill. $40,000, $60,000. Go, uh, some people, doctors, hundred. $120,000 in education. They teach you how to stay in the poorhouse. And if you can't open your mind up and realize it, you're always going to stay in this poorhouse. So I'm trying my hardest to educate you guys to get out of this poorhouse. All right. That this can is the most important can. Money has got to work for you. The next most important can is the education can. Go to seminars, get coaches, buy books. Get audios. Listen to podcasts. You know, educate yourself every day. Don't rely on what you learned in school. Because guess what? It's obsolete. You got a phone in your hand that can make you thousands of dollars, but you guys would rather spend all your time on Instagram. Why? Because the education system made you this way. Open up your mind and realize that 5% all right, your 5% that they talking about that's about to get them good old tax breaks, they're out of this poor house because they can open their mind. They realize that the education system is wrong, completely wrong. All right, you just use the education system to get more wisdom. But once you get that wisdom, you have to start to create your own. Don't just go to work, man. Nine to five at work. It's going to keep you in this poor house for the rest of your life. Well, I'll tell you 60, 59 and a half, whatever they say. And that money won't be enough money for you to survive. I promise you that. Um, I know from experience. All my family did what the education system told them to do. All my family is in the poor house right now. All right? Work on this. Don't share my information because I'm going to sell this later on. But that's why it's live. I want y'all to take a look. Work on it. If you got any questions, email me, info at officialtravisdavis.com. Uh, DM me. Let me know. I hope you guys can uh, start to manage your money correctly so we can make more money going into 2018. Holla, Jeff.